In this short video aimed at condensing combination boilers without hot water storage, we show you how to identify a condensing combi boiler, explain the theory, and then show how to reduce the flow temperature and employ a one-step or two-step reduced flow temperature strategy. Before you start, you need to make sure you have a condensing combi boiler. You can either find out checking your model with the boiler installation manual or identifying if you have a plastic pipe coming out below your boiler like shown that may terminate internally or externally as shown in the clip. Condensing boilers achieve extra efficiency by extracting additional latent heat from the waste gas. This can only happen if the return temperature of your heating system is below dew point at 54 degrees. You can see from the efficiency graph. So setting your flow or outgoing water temperature to 55 degrees and below will almost guarantee your boiler to be in condensing mode. As a word of caution, reducing flow temperature on a condensing boiler leads to increased water discharge that can freeze in the winter if your pipework is not correctly installed or insulated. As you can see in this clip, this particular boiler, a Valent Ecotech Plus with four buttons and no dials, shows you how to adjust the flow temperature. There are many different types of boiler with different ways of setting your flow temperature, so you should check the manual or see some of our other videos showing you how to change the flow temperature. Some homes may not warm up in winter at lower flow temperatures, and so a higher flow temperature may be needed, so you can employ a two-step flow temperature strategy, a higher winter flow temperature, and for the rest of the year with warmer outside temperatures you can use a lower flow temperature such as 55 degrees and below. If your home warms up all year round at 55 degrees and below, then you don't need a two-step strategy. As an added bonus, 55 degrees and below means your heating system would likely be compatible with heat pumps. A heat pump system designer can further verify this. There are more automatic advanced methods such as using modulating controls that communicate directly with the boiler regulating the flow temperature such that it remains below the dew point. Examples of this are weather compensated controls, open therm controls or manufacturer controls. See the description below for additional resources providing further information.